Michael, what are your thoughts on the new management of the team? Have you had much interaction yet? Yeah, I was down there at uh, minicamp since I lived down there in Tampa, so I got to meet a lot of the coaching staff and uh, been really good uh, to get to be involved in a lot of communication and a lot of fun. They seem like they want to have a good, fun rebuilding year. What were your initial pre impressions of Doug Brokale and what uh, would pitchers want in a good relationship with their pitching coach? Uh, he seems a really great guy. And, and um, he had um, Kashner, uh, when Kashner was with Texas, and hearing from Kashner's point of view and seeing that we're going to have a good uh, pitching coach and staff going forward. And I think great things going forward as f with uh, the new pitching coach. Have you had a chance to talk to Sigma Dell or at least see what he's done specifically with, with pitchers and analytics and what the organization wants to do moving forward? No, I, I kind of haven't yet, but I've been interested with a lot of our uh, media, uh, our video guys, excuse me, and been talking with them, trying to understand the whole thing, what the, we're bringing in into the Orioles with the new uh, the Houston Astros uh, th uh, thought process, how they went about it. So it's been good and it's been really interesting. Michael, I know spring training is still a couple of weeks away, but this year feel different for you knowing you know, you're one of the more veteran guys in the bullpen now in the last few years? Not really. I still treat it as like every year, just trying to go make a team and still trying to have fun and try to get ready. And especially, yeah, I have the most time in the bullpen right now, but it's still, I got to still learn a lot. And being that uh, leader and, and captain up there, just trying to have fun with the guys. And like we did at the very end, I think we did a really good job. Uh, looking forward to prepare for us this year. Are you excited about the potential for this team and uh, how soon do you think it might uh, turn into something good? Um, uh, the potential is always there. Uh, we have really young prospects and very young, good trades that we had last year and a lot of opportunities. I think that's the big, biggest thing that we have and looking forward to, for everybody and all the fans to see that we have a lot of young opportunities for kids and to see this uh, organization grow again. When you look at the bullpen now, you could argue you'd be the closer of this season, depending how many games you would essentially close. Do you, does that affect you at all right now, training, moving into spring training? No, not at all. I always train myself like I'm going to throw a uh, hundred innings, even though I'm not uh, like a hundred inning guy, but I still train myself like I'm going to throw a lot of innings as far as like being around um, Andrew Miller and then Team USA, get learned a lot from him, the roles he's been through in the middle, on um, back of the bullpen in any situation and, and trying to hold in here to run. So just to prepare myself for anything, the situation comes. Michael, no Orioles team went through, has ever gone through what you guys went through last year. How much of how much of took a toll on you mentally when you look back at it? I'm sure when you're right in it, you're just doing what you got to do. But yeah, it's, it's tough uh, mentally, and like oh, this game is a lot of mental part of it. So it just had the uh, fact of being around um, Alan Mills for a long time helped us in the bullpen, helped the younger guys, um, helped being around Darren O'Day and Brad Brock and Zach before they got traded. Bring around the guys like them to help me and help me to be a leader in the bullpen to help uh, hopefully get this rebuilding pretty soon. Michael, I know that um, Adam Jones isn't officially gone yet, but how different will it be just without having Adam around for so long? Uh, he's the heart of this uh, organization. I, I truly believe that he's been a great uh, role model and great uh, for the kids and the community. So to not have him here is going to be uh, essentially not yet. We don't know. He can hopefully sign back as soon. But with Adam not here, uh, it's really, I think, a big loss because he was a great contributor to this organization and to the city. So with uh, with him and just how the leadership he had in the uh, clubhouse and the fun and great smile he has and a great family. So if he's not back with us, he will be missed.